It's good to see the young talent coming through. Look at Ninova. Third shot at five. And it's a little beauty. Those are just never easy. Nina, but good up and down. Four under par. Seventeen. Yesterday downwind, he drove it green high. How can I do that into the breeze? So three wood. Looking for position. And that, if it just hangs on, is fine. Vulcanina, but into the seventh. Up in the back left. And that is just beautifully played. Downwind, not that easy to control. Beautiful second there from Ninaba. His wedge play is definitely improving. Oh, that's a terrific birdie. Made it look so easy, didn't he? That's a good sign, Tony. Mm. A couple of good pitches now. He's had a couple Absolutely. of good putts. So Tim was just talking about the pin position here at eight. Oof. Yeah, one of the caddies mentioned it to me when I went out and had a look this morning and he said, wait till you see the pin on eight. Not only is it front left, but it's cut on quite a severe slope. Not a chip that you want to hit past the hole. And that's a smart play. Yeah, you can see the slope they've cut that flag on. Yeah, only nine birdies today, Tony. 3.25, the average. With this club in his hand here at 10, will certainly be within distance for two at this par five. Well, we saw him carry it at least 3.30 down the sixth. This runs in a little bit of a different direction, so a little bit more into the breeze. Often the case, you miss this one a little right. But that is perfect. Got to be careful though, playing this one against the breeze. This one you just want to let it be right. Beautiful swing there. Looks a lovely line. Yeah, he's drawn that into that breeze. That was lovely. Oh, you know that was a shot he couldn't play 18 months ago. He couldn't hit that shot where he could hit it two thirds, take the spin off it, and drill it into the wind. He's learning well all the time. Just a gorgeous second shot into the wind. Eagle putt. It's actually quite flat at the holes. He's got a chance here. Run! You know, Wally, prior to seeing that shot he's just hit there, I would have said on the weekend when it gets to 35 miles an hour, I wouldn't have rated his chances, but he's obviously learned how to hit those softer shots. And I wonder if that's quite a recent thing, having Ricky Roberts on the bag, maybe. This is at 12, coming out of the San Nina, but yeah, he's actually uh, bitten off the corner at 12. So it's a big drive. Shouldn't really test him too much. Nice flat stance. Good clean lie. Big target. Yeah. That'll play nicely. Got himself out of trouble. After a beautiful fairway bunker shot for Nina, but sets up a decent chance up the hill, slow one. Well, we've got 21 players right now, separated by three shots. We've actually had a nine-way tie for the lead at the halfway stage before at the Commercial Bank Qatar Masters. <laughs> Doha Golf Club tends to do that. Get this uh, concertina effect at the top. 2-6 over its par today, as are the third and eighth par threes are brutal today. And that is a good shot. To that pin, that really is well played. Well, our Fortinet course stats show us what's the uh, biggest threat to the player's scorecard. And uh, by looking at that, it's the uh, front nine. Look at the difference between the scoring over the first nine at Doha Golf Club and the back nine here is where you uh, really can maybe pick up a few shots 
Smart tee shot here by Ninaba. Hard to the green and almost gets rewarded. You'll take a three there every day and particularly when it's into the wind like it is today. That's You've gained on the field. Drivers out again. Uh, quite a sheltered tee. You won't be able to feel the breeze. but More into the breeze, Tony, but you should be still looking left. There's a lot of grasses over there. This needs to get Whoa. lucky if it is left. Yeah, I need a break, certainly, Holy, There's all sorts of stuff out there. Mm. Someone's seen it, I think. There we go. Three-way tie right now. Well, at least he's got a shot here. This, this could be a golf club wrecker here on these stones, but you've got to do what you've got to do. Rocks and stones and... He's not really sure where that's gone or how it's come out. That'll do. Yeah, that's fine. Isn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you hit it left off that tee, Tony. You know that. You you think oh, you oof, good could be reloading. Mm. Do well to get out of there. Let alone I think he's four. He played that nice. Very good. But I didn't think it was that good. <laughs> it was always a birdie from where he put that tee shot. Well, you said it. You said he got away with all the trouble. He quite literally did. Brilliant stuff. 16th, par four, 294 yards, downwind, and iron is plenty for him. Yeah, iron at 15, it's absolutely going to be plenty. Just carries the rock. And that's a, whenever it's downwind, Tony, it's always a back of the green job. It's so hard to get anywhere close to the pin. Yeah, I reckon half the field over the back of that green today. Yeah. That? It's, it's quite a difficult pitch to judge. And it's always been like that, Wally, yeah. hasn't it? You know, and, I mean, they've changed the greens, completely new surfaces, but basically kept the same shape and the same slope. It's never an easy up and down from back there. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I totally agree. I think seven, eight feet is a good shot, really good shot. And that first bounce, how it reacts. It's got to jump, it should do. That's greatness. And he joins Hannah and Moronk at the top. It's that part of the game that he seems to have excelled in this week. He's, he's been very good from 100 yards in. And you well know, Tony, it's all about around the greens, whether you win or not. Wind off the right and helping. Hold on to your hats, folks. This is going for a ride. Yeah, 350 to the penalty area on the left. It's not in it for many, but possibly might have been in his mind with a big high hook. You'd take that, Tony, wouldn't you? <laughs> now, mindset here, what's he looking? He's probably looking a little past this. He doesn't look like he's holding very much. Probably a soft seven. So he's probably going to go past this. Plenty of club in hand. Ooh. It's understandable, isn't it? Well, he's a prodigious talent, Wilco Ninaba, and we've seen plenty of that today in this second round of the Commercial Bank Qatar Masters. Just got to be aggressive with this one, back into the breeze. So easy to sort of fat this to there. Very easy to do that. Second shot just piled the pressure on really well if Nina doesn't hold this it'll feel actually like a poor bogey he would have been standing there with maybe seven iron expecting that's a super try wasn't it There's going to be a sharp contrast in styles amongst uh, some of the leaders. Wilco Nina, but has all the talent at his disposal. And we've seen some good short game touch from him as well today. 68 in the end, not a drop shot on the car, matching his score of yesterday. And leads him alongside Adrian Moronk in the clubhouse at eight under par. 
Walker, congratulations. Two rounds of 68. Although they're the same sc scores on day one and two, how different do the days compare? Both were pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm happy with both of them. But uh, today, being bogey free, I, I didn't think it was easy with this wind. Um, so I'm happy with the score. Flawless scorecard today. You eliminated the errors, like you just said. But what does that tell you about your game right now? Where is it at? I'm happy with my game at the moment. Um, more of the same coming uh, the weekend, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I'm just keeping on uh, doing what I do. It's always good to end on a positive. What was the shot of the day today? Shot of the day, probably the second shot on 10. Um, it was it was really nice to make a birdie on 10, um, but that made it easier because I had a, a makeable eagle chance as well. But it was a uh, 238 three iron, really nice and low and into the window off the left. And I was pretty pleased with the shot, yeah. Talk us through your chip in as well, because that was pretty spot on. Did you expect that coming? <laughs> Pretty funny, after I chipped it in, Ricky said immediately that had three written all over it after that tee <laughs> shot. Um, but um, I, I got a little lucky having uh, having a shot on, on that uh, sec on the second shot and um, the, I'm, I'm chipping pretty well as well. So it was really nice that it actually went in. I didn't want to I didn't want to fist bump it or anything because it, it might have lipped out, I thought, but uh, I was I was pretty happy with it. We did all think that fist pump was a little bit delayed, yeah, it but was, yeah. well now played you know and enjoy the weekend. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> to watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.